He is known for his pioneering work in electrical telegraphy, developing the first electromagnetic telegraph that was of practical use. He is recognized for his innovative design of a needle telegraph, which greatly reduced the number of wires compared to other systems. His name is Pavel Schilling. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Baron Pavel Vavich Schilling, also known as Paul Schilling, a Russian military officer and diplomat of Baltic German origin. While his career primarily focused on his work for the Imperial Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, it was his pioneering work in electrical telegraphy that would leave a lasting impact on the world. During his time in Munich, Schilling collaborated with Samuel Thomas von Sommering on the development of an electrochemical telegraph. However, it was Schilling's ingenuity that led to the creation of the first practical electromagnetic telegraph. His design featured needle telegraph, utilizing magnetized needles suspended by a thread over a current-carrying coil. Not only did his invention reduce the number of wires needed compared to previous systems, but it also incorporated binary coding, further enhancing its efficiency. Schilling's groundbreaking telegraph caught the attention of Tsar Nicholas I, who planned to install it on a link to Kronstadt. Unfortunately, Schilling's life was cut short, and the project was abandoned after his untimely death. However, his legacy lived on through his assistant and successor, Moritz von Jacobi, who continued to advance telegraphy in other electrical applications in Russia. Pavel Schilling, a Russian scientist, first became involved in telegraphy while he was in Munich. He assisted Sommering with experiments on an electrochemical telegraph, which used electricity to cause a chemical reaction at the far end. After returning to St. Petersburg, Schilling conducted his own experiments with this type of telegraph. In 1812, he demonstrated it to Tsar Alexander I, but the Tsar declined to adopt it due to concerns about spreading, subversive, ideas. Schilling's successor, Tsar Nicholas I, also opposed introducing mass communications and only agreed to use electrical telegraphy for selected military and civil offices. Public discussion and reports on telegraph technology, including foreign inventions, were strictly prohibited. Although Schilling could demonstrate his experiments to the public without consequences, he never tried to publish his research. After his death, Moritz von Jacobi attempted to publish Schilling's research, but the journal containing the review article was confiscated and destroyed by order of the Tsar. In 1820, Schilling learned of Hans Christian Orsted's discovery that electric current could deflect compass needles. Inspired by this, he decided to switch his investigation to needle telegraphs, which utilized Orsted's principle. Schilling conducted demonstrations using one to six needles to represent letters of the alphabet or other information. In 1828, Schilling completed his first telegraph. It consisted of a double-wire copper line, two terminals with voltaic piles providing current, a Schweiger multiplier for indication, a send-receive switch, and a bidirectional telegraph key. However, there were no intermediate repeaters yet, limiting the system's potential range. The switches and keys used open vials filled with mercury, and the pointer of the multiplier was hydraulically dampened with mercury. The code table used variable-length coding, encoding bits by current direction. Schilling later designed a multi-wire, parallel send system based on fellow researchers' suggestions. Schilling used a single needle instrument for demonstration purposes during his journey to the Far East. Upon his return, he implemented a binary code on his telegraph with multiple needles, inspired by the hexagrams from I Ching. Each hexagram consisted of six stacked lines, with each line being solid or broken, representing two binary states. This binary coding system allowed Schilling to code the Russian alphabet using six needles, predating the Baudot code by several decades. On October 21, 1832, Schilling set up a demonstration of his six-needle telegraph between two rooms in his apartment building, about 100 meters apart. To create a credible distance, he hired the entire floor of the building and ran a mile and a half of wire around it. The demonstration was a huge success and remained open until the Christmas break, attracting notable visitors. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.